Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about an experiment to show that water is sent through the Dallin vessels. The point is that we are going to let the plant absorb some uh, colored water in order to indicate the path of this water and if we indicate that this colored water passed through the Dallin vessels so this will prove that water is sent through Dallin vessels or in other words, Dallin vessels are the place or the transport system which gets the water from the root system to the other parts of the plant. So accordingly, the first thing that we are going to need is a test tube, a test tube filled with Aocene solution. And the Eocene solution is a solution of colored water, let's say like pink colored or something like that, a color near to pink. And we are going to uh, dip a small flowering plant into this test tube so that the root system of, of this small flowering plant is immersed in the Eocene solution. So. We'll, we will fix also the small flowering plants into the test tube with a cotton plug in order to um, ensure the fixation of the plant inside the test tube. We will leave this for some time and observe the results. The result is that we will notice that some veins, the veins of the uh, leaves of the plant and some parts of the stem have their color turned into pink, the same color of the Eocene solution. And this indicates that the color has ascend from the uh, test tube into the upper parts of the plant. So we have now proved the first part that water ascends. So the next step is that we are going to cut the stem of the plant transversely in order to see what's inside and we will find that the xylem vessels are the only vessels which are um, pigmented by the AFC solution color they will be the only vessels with pink color indicating that water ascends through the xylem vessels only and and so, this is the conclusion of today, that water ascends from the root system to the upper parts of the plant and the xylem vessels are the vessels which transport the water from the root system to the upper parts of the plant and this is it for today and next time we'll be talking about another experiment to prove that water moves upwards inside the plant by the transpiration pull and until then, thank you for watching and see you.